Last time on the Model Remodel Show, we got a special package all the way from Idaho. Inside the box was a custom shower unit ready for tile, which is epoxied into place and then grouted. The process is fast. Started this morning with no shower in this bathroom, and now about six and a half hours later, and with cameras following me the whole time, we have a complete shower, watertight and uh, ready for valves and trims. The walls snap into the pan and screw into the studs. They align easily and snap together at the corners. Ben was pleased with the result. Really impressed with the quality from Best Bath. Uh, we've used a number of different manufacturers over the years, all with varying levels of quality and fit and finish. Um, and hands down, from the ones that we've used, uh, this has the nicest build quality and the easiest assembly. And that's the first finished surface inside Professional Remodeler's 2017 Model Remodel. This time, we're going to look at indoor air. So one of the benefits of building a, a super tight, well-insulated house is that you get to downsize your HVAC system. Um, because we have such a tight, well-insulated house, we have to add mechanical ventilation. Our HVAC and ventilation strategy for this house is off of uh, mini split systems um, from Fujitsu. Uh, we have the main body of the house being handled by a 12,000 BTU wall mount unit, the master bedroom being handled by a 7,000 BTU wall mount unit, and then the laundry and bath area right here being handled by a, a 7,000 BTU slim duct unit. So uh, what we have right here is we have a return plenum feeding our slim duct unit. Uh, the slim duct unit is downstairs underneath us in the mechanical area uh, suspended from the floor system. We have a return grill right here, which will have about a MERV 11 filter in it. Um, comes up through branch ducts right here that then distribute to over our head here in the hallway laundry area and into the bathroom area. When you talk about mechanical ventilation, you have essentially four types of systems. You have supply only, you have exhaust only, you have balanced, and then you have balanced with energy recovery. We're doing a balanced system, meaning that we have um, powered fans pushing air into the house as well as exhausting the same amount of air. Um, no energy recovery. Realistically on a house this size, the energy penalty with not having energy recovery is so minimal it doesn't justify the cost of stepping up to an energy recovery ventilator. Before we start cutting metal, we'll make a napkin sketch. For our mechanical ventilation, we have two ducts right here that are the, the heart of our system, essentially. These are traveling through a chaseway. One of them will go to outside through the gable end here to bring fresh air in and down into the mechanical room, where it'll go through a powered and filtered blower. The Air King Q-Fresh supply fan tempers the incoming air to improve comfort. And then travel up through another one of these ducts here into the attic into a branch box where it'll then split out and be distributed around the house. Dumping the fresh air into closets keeps the house comfortable without creating a drafty feel. We have an Air King range hood. Um, it'll function for exhaust for the range and cooking applications, but it also runs continuously and will draw a set amount of air out of the house. In the bathroom, an Air King Eco Exhaust vent fan is placed above the shower and it exhausts out the gable end. The guys get after the installation with Frank beginning with the bath fan. He slides the brackets into the housing and slips the fan into place onto pre-sunk mounting screws. With the fan in the right spot, he twists a few wire nuts and tucks away the wire. Meanwhile, Ben readies the supply fan. It is adjustable to control the incoming air for temperature and humidity. The spatial analysis IQ test begins now. And he clears the first hurdle. Confident that he has a handle on things, Ben mounts the wood to the wall and then he mounts the fan to the wood. Because this is a six inch duct, there's plenty of volume to overcome the pressure loss from a direct 180 degree turn right out of the fan box. Now it's back to Rubik's elbow.
With the top and bottom fittings set, he cuts a piece to fit between and then removes the lower elbow. Working downward, the ducts are screwed together into a single unit. Now he can move it upstairs to his bench and seal it with mastic. Every joint and gap is painted thick. In the basement, he seals the ductwork that is still in place. While the mastic dries, we'll look forward to the next time when we go from the basement to the roof and lay down some membrane along the eaves, cut up some edge metal, and get ready for roofing and professional remodelers model remodel.